the earth move under my feet. I'm feeling coming down. All right, guys. This is it, man. This is it. It's done. From uh, what I hear, they will be um, for good. Uh, forever. Um, sad day. Sad day for Americana, man. And they will start liquidating tomorrow. They were supposed to announce it any 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 day, uh, any, any minute. Excuse me. Any minute, it's gonna be. Over. Um, they will announce. Mr. Eddie Lampert, his bid was just not good enough, guys. It just the creditors wanted more. I do. Um, I do acknowledge he, he did try to save some 50,000 jobs and he tried to keep it going but it just wasn't good enough unfortunately so I believe it's yeah very true there bud we don't know. Uh, someone's just, yeah. Now, there's rumors of it closing, you know, tonight. I don't know if it's going to be certain stores. I don't know. It doesn't really make sense because they got, I mean, the store is loaded with stuff. Uh, I mean, a lot of it is kind of, they're not obviously restocking a lot of stuff here. But, yeah, it's done. It's done. Stick of, oh, look at this. See, look at this, 30 bucks, guys, for this. And I think we talked about this one last time. It's 30 bucks, but we just got the cobalt for, this might have the half inch, but, you know, 30 bucks. I got the cobalt for $11. And that was a, I don't know, I think it was a 60 piece. It had bits and all different kinds of stuff too, I mean. You know, this, that's what it is, the, the, the price of, um, and, and this is obviously made in China somewhere. Yeah, made in China. So the price is, you know, that, that was its downfall, if you ask me. And really, uh, you know, poor management. It, the stores were just not, I don't know, not designed it was very sloppy, uh, their tool department very unorganized, very um, dirty, you know, dust. They got tools here that have been here for years. I mean, dates on them from 2011 and stuff, and, you know, just a very sloppy presentation. Um, but, yeah, yep. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. All right, spend fit. I mean, they got the members here. I don't know what happens to the members. All right, they are starting to bring these down to half price. Um, hit your Sears, people, that's all I can say. Um, these are all, see, this is only $9, $10 for a 50 piece. But even at discount, you know, it's not really that cheap, you know? They already said the member stuff is going to be void. Oh, boy. Thank you. Great, Robert. Great info there. Good. Um, you know, get these as collector's items. Now, obviously, they still make craftsman stuff, but you're never going to see these die hard. You're never going to see these certain models of these craftsman tools. I mean, I mean, that's if you're a craftsman guy. You don't have to. But... Um, <laughs> You know, they still want 159 here for a brushless um, drill where, you know, at Home Depot and Lowe's, you could have got it for 99 bucks at certain times. Um, but they're priced a little weird. All right, so this is down to, this is a 208 piece for 20 bucks. 
they had some sockets. See, I wonder, you know, hey, man, come on. See, they want, they want 50 freaking dollars. 50. For these half inch suckers, man. Um, it's crazy. 40, 34. None of the DeWalt stuffs, you know. Um, here's our brushless. I don't know how much this is. This is our brushless impact this holiday season. Again, 99 bucks. Pretty much everywhere this holiday season. It's funny. This is the brushless, um, the 787. But Lowe's has the 885 for 159 so you know we got some weird pricing but um and this i think there's people just coming in trying to find some deal i mean look at these guys five employees probably a sad day for them really oh you can save two dollars on the evolve set um see this would be if these get discounted and stuff yeah i did to see a little bit more um, discounted stuff here, to be honest with you. But, you know, I think a lot of the employees are still waiting for the announcement. Here's a craftsman little bag here for 15 bucks. Because nothing has been said from the company yet. This has all just been leaked by this morning that they will be um liquid they, they, they didn't accept mr lambert's offer I'll tell you eight bucks for a 10 piece ain't bad so um you know what was weird is what i read and robert waters you know he's he's been looking into this i'm sure a lot of you guys have oh here's the the stanley version oh look at this you can get a craftsman decal set Oh, this, this 94 and EJM, they probably got this. They're rocking with that, man. Yeah, we love it. Yeah, we love it. Um, what are they asking for the DeWalt miter saw stand? Uh, I don't think they're... Uh, I mean, forget about finding a price here. Uh, Brown, my man, I mean, who the heck knows? I, I don't... Believe me, if this was, like, really liquidated... They would have stickers all over it. Now, that's the thing. From what I read, some of them are going to be closing up tonight. But, I mean, again, what do you do with all this stuff? I mean, you know, obviously it gets liquidated, I guess. And I mean, they want $20 for this little toolbox, guys. We, you know, we were at Home Depot. And they had the HD Xbox, $8.99. Then they had the Husky box for $4.99. And it was way bigger than this box. So, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this is uh, probably obviously good for Lowe's. Because now if you want your craftsman stuff, you got to go to Lowe's. There's no other place um, to get this stuff. Oh, this one is 59 See, This is a nice box. Again, I've never seen this one. Three drawer plastic portable chest, fifty nine bucks. It's weird. You got a, it's a plastic portable chest, right? But you got some metal drawers in it. Not very deep. And this, this one, well, seventy nine bucks. But this, I think that comes with like, maybe not. Um. I think the hand tools, that's what I really wanted to focus on here. To see, 199 for this cabinet here. You really, well, 129, your choice. 26. Yeah, like I said, guys, if you're really interested in this stuff, go down to your local Sears and kind of see what's going on. Um, deals wise, I'm gonna ask these guys. Yeah, look at this one. This one's sharp. I tell you, I like the Sears Craftsman um, chest, man. They got some nice looking ones. I like the yellow one. This red one's pretty nice with the red and the black. Yeah. Um. Let me 
let's see what we got over here because now we're going to be hitting the socket area and 849 for some Olympia scissors there we are it looks like a lot of, they're just obviously just not restocking a lot of this stuff but um $31 for your club member non-member pays 34 bucks 23 piece screwdriver 34 bucks and these aren't the um then you get a look Twenty six ninety nine, seventeen p screwdriver set. Yeah, Irwin. Seven ninety nine for this evolve set. They're twenty bucks for fourteen piece Craftsman oh, stuff's gear wrench. Fifty bucks. Wow. See. I mean, there's going to be some, some deals that they just... And they've been probably selling a couple. Because this looks all gone, all gone. And and these are different. So these, yeah, either one is 50. So this is your metric. And this is your standard. To, I mean, Jesus. This whole, the whole place is falling apart, guys. The whole freaking store is... Jeez, the whole store is coming down. I don't know what's going on, man. But 20 piece... There we go. Oh, I cracked somebody over the head with this sucker here. That's your big boy. It's a one and one half, yep. That's a one and one half. And they got some gear wrench too here. One and a quarter. Look at that, bro. Oh, man, it's rock. Um, yeah, I'll tell you, 20 piece gear wrench for 50 bucks. Not bad, oh yeah, look at these sockets. Oh yeah, for your three, there's your three quarter impact wrenches. Oh cool, thank you, Robert. Yeah, they got a lot of gear wrench, um, see sales associate, even to get into these gear wrench, people probably steal them and stuff. Um. I thought that was a good addition for Sears when they brought gear wrench here. Um, I don't guess it hasn't really panned out too well. Um, I mean, look at the prices, though. I mean, $12 for a one-inch socket. Is that a little crazy? Or, or you know, 27 See what kind of deals we got. Fifty bucks there. Fourteen. All right. So you're saving five-piece plier sets. They they want to get rid of these. All right. So this is your five-piece. Yeah. Fourteen ninety-nine. They got two different prices here for some reason. But we'll go with the smallest one. So fourteen ninety nine. Any of you guys use this Evolve Craftsman stuff? That's what the lowest bottom of the barrel stuff that Craftsman's got, or what? The Evolve. Yeah, they're rocking out with some music here. See, I'd like to get a nice. Yeah. I don't know where they have their socket sets. Oh wait. Again, <clears throat> this is 20, all right? 20 bucks. This is down to 30 bucks. This was $60. So you can grab this for 30. Again, nah, not much. Uh, this is 50, like I said. Uh, not a bad, you know, 20 piece set. I guess, yeah, I think this is Taiwan too, but let's make sure. Because it could be China. It just could be, yeah, it is. It's China. So it's not the good gear wrench. Um, got a 50. Oh, this is a regularly. 
$119. This is their um, 108 piece. But we've seen deals, guys. We've seen sets. Whether on Amazon from DeWalt, whether even at Lowe's, where you're getting a bigger set. I mean, they, they still want, I mean, 79 bucks. This, uh, again, you get some bigger sockets with this one than I've seen with some of the DeWalt ones. You know, and like I said right here, what goes on with the lifetime warranty, Roger? Yeah, uh, Autobahn Don, I think, I think soon after the announcement, whether it be tomorrow, tonight, I don't, I don't know. But again, it's a lot of conflicting stuff that I've read. Uh, maybe you guys have worked it out in the chat room, but they were saying some might close doors tonight or today. I, I don't know how that works. I, I don't know how much is this. I don't see how. Again, loaded here with stuff. I don't know the price of this. They're loaded with these 25-piece socket wrench sets and the 10-piece. This one's 30. You know, when I was coming, I had a feeling I wasn't going to see too much deals-wise here. It's just, I mean, but look, a lot of this stuff, yeah. A lot of this stuff, 20 bucks for a deep socket set. Wow. So you get 18-piece for a 18-piece deep I mean, deep socket set, 19 millimeter. So you're really not taking any lugs off with a 19 millimeter. And it goes up to a 7 8. Uh, micro torque, how much is this? I got a torque wrench, half an inch. This one goes up to 150. How much is it? Tell me the price, please. Oh, I'm sure EJM is going to clean up on this Craftsman um, work outerwear. Let's see how much. 60 bucks, you get yourself a Craftsman coat, man. Oh, no, they're down. They're down. $39. Blowout event. 40 bucks out the door. Yeah, you got the little logo on the bottom. Let them know you're a Craftsman, man. Uh, two, $109. Oh, okay. Mechanics tool set. 109 bucks for 100 well, We all know why. That they're, I saw it looks like they got rid of all these DeWalt power tools. You know? I mean, they want 10 bucks here for a um, five-piece screwdriver set here. 10 bucks. It's not cheap. 22, 29 bucks for a flex claw hammer. Ten dollars for a bag. Yeah, it's kind of weak. Kind of weak. Oh, look at this garage door opener. Uh, Vax six gallon wet dry vac for 50. I mean, we saw, yeah, I guess that's not too bad. I think they had a rigid for 39. Um, garage door openers 249, 169. That's actually not bad. Um, you know, obviously, probably not their best one, of course, but. I mean, the Craftsman had so much, you know, actually, when I moved into my house, we had a Craftsman garage door opener, and it worked awesome for another eight years or so. All right, so here's some sockets that we found. These were 50, and this is their Evolve series. So it's their cheap bottom of, of the barrel. Um, and they still want 30 bucks. Uh, it's the Evolve. Um, 12 p. They want fifty dollars for a 12 piece. 
just, I mean, look at this. $60, man. And it goes up to a one and one sixteenth. That's pretty, pretty good. Definitely pretty good. Thirty-four piece. Um, and there's some more down here. Half inch. Here's a big sucker. Fifty-two piece. Yeah, I mean, hundred dollars. Forty. I mean, you know, it's not cheap, guys. Is all I can say. I mean, even at on sale here, not any deals yet. Now, you might have better luck at your Sears. Uh, here's a metric set, which I mean, this is a nice set. I mean, you go up to a twenty-seven, so that's a pretty darn big socket to get uh, in one of these sets, but. Um, I don't know, 40 bucks. 40 bucks, I don't know. I mean, that's not a bad price, don't get me wrong. Um, I mean, and they're probably better than the Tekton stuff, Tekton. But you can maybe get it for like 30 bucks. I don't know, actually, that's actually not a bad price. If it, if it is 39 I don't even know well, how much it is. Uh, that's not, it's not in the right spot. All right, here's a 10 piece Evolve. This is 24 bucks, which ain't bad. 10 piece. Half inch. But they're not deep. This is deep for 30. And it goes up to a 24, 30 bucks. I mean, again. Sears fell. What's up, Marcos, Ruben, everybody? Yeah, man. Um, again, I really wasn't expecting um, like a lot of yellow, but I kind of wanted to come down one last time, and maybe for you guys, but and maybe to show you. And again, guys, they got a lot of stuff here, and. A lot of stuff still in the stores. Now, a lot of it's bare. They're not going to restock. But check out, you know, you got these points. Now, someone said that they might not honor them anymore, which is pretty shady if you ask me. I mean, come on. Um, 126 years they've been in business. And I posted a picture on Instagram. Yeah, a lot of people, um, you know, people are in the Sears watching the the moon landing in the store or something like that maybe not the moon landing but some rocket but look at this milwaukee and this isn't the milwaukee that we know but yeah a lot of people had a lot of good times a lot of events you know back in the day when people couldn't afford tvs people used to go to sears and jc pennies and hang out and watched you know some of the the events live um, and this is a, this is a nice one. So a thousand bucks though, but again, and guys, check online too. They might be doing something online where they're you know again they got to get rid of this stuff. Um, now, yeah, here's some utility knives. How are, how they are getting rid of this stuff? I don't know. But I mean, again, thirty bucks. I mean these these sets are still super high. But you might see something different in your store, or maybe even tomorrow or tonight. It's it's kind of just a waiting game. But I was going past here, and I and I thought about it, and I'm like, all right, let's do it, man. One last time, let's do it one last time. Twelve ninety nine here, twenty five. What for Sidewinder? Um, yep. And we all knew this was coming. If you watched my video, what, two years ago. I mean, I was telling you guys to pray. Because it looked bad. And the last time we were here, I mean, it was pretty bad. And we knew the the death was near. And there was a lot of people saying that Eddie Lampert was doing this on purpose. Because, 
he's trying to get the price down to a certain degree and, you know i guess everything kind of backfired on him because i know he owned a lot of stock i believe so yeah sometimes people were saying uh you know he did it on purpose and stuff and if it was going to help him out i would believe it but he was a big shareholder so I, I don't think he would really want that to happen. I mean, look at this. They want $100 for a freaking football. Why are these the mitts? Yeah, $100. I, mean, I can get, I mean, it, this, this is the end because of the, I mean, you're going to compete with Walmart and Target charging $99 for a Louisville Slugger mitt. That's, you know, Everyone's using Wilson or Rawlings, of course. I mean, the boots. Let's go just check out the um, outdoor stuff. Really nothing going on, guys, here. It's a sad day. It's it's dark and gloomy out. And uh, this is could be the last time. Well, it's definitely, this, this store is done. But I'm kind of just taking it in, guys. I'm taking it in. You know, I mean, for everyone that's kind of grown up with Sears at some point, it's uh, it's all over. Yeah, I, you know, and you you think, I mean, look, six hundred and thirty-four dollars. It's just so bad. The pricing is just killer, man. But um, you know, if you're looking for a snowblower, a lawnmower, zero turn. Let me look at this. So what happens to all this stuff here? Robert Waters. What's up, High Ridge? I did not know till recently that they ever made cars. Craftsman, yeah. I'm looking at getting a um, Studebaker. Yeah, I'm actually looking at getting, uh, I think it's a 61. And just fixing her up and just having some fun as a little side project. Only because someone mentioned the Craftsman cars. But anyway, so when they liquidate, and they got generators too, which might be a good idea. So are they going to keep these stores open? Uh, did you read anything? Because I know you're spreading some article out there, Robert. Are they going to keep the stores open until they, they just steamroll all this stuff? They're going to sell all this stuff? in the store or how does it work what are they going to do like do the creditors come in and take all this stuff because again i heard some different information that they might just that's it they're closing up shop immediately i mean they got one with no freaking roof on it i always wanted one i, I tell you i was they have a smaller one if you watch my old videos and this one might be it. And it was a pretty decent price, man. But yeah, craftsmen make the sheds too, man. I mean, they have such a big... Now is, um, you know, is Lowe's gonna take this stuff over? Lowe's gonna start selling all this craft, the sheds. And do they sell the lawnmowers in the store? I mean, this thing is... Now, like I said, guys, you heard my whole thing. Now, if you ever are down on your luck and you're, you're done, you know, you just got fired from your job, all right? You got no money. You're done. The wife left you. You're done. You're cleaned out. You get your last 800 bucks, right? You go buy one of these storage sheds. You go to the woods and you just put it together and you got your nice house. You got a place. No one should be homeless. I say give them all a shed. Give them all a shed. Look at this. Thousand bucks. For the... The store's in Oklahoma. Yeah. This is nice. A lot of people. I wonder what they're going to do. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> You can get the Toro Time Master for a thousand dollars, which you know. Assistant needed in Long Garden. Assistant needed in Long Garden, please. 
Yeah, so let me get to the back to the chat. The stores in Oklahoma had a had a liquidator hired, and every Friday they lowered the prices till it was gone. All right, they also were one of the first companies. The company has, in the past, just sold the stuff where it is. Sears used to sell house kits. Yes. Yep, they used to be, and, uh, especially on the Jersey Shore. Uh, a lot of people have the Craftsman, and you, if you've watched some of my videos from a couple years ago, you heard me talk about that. So very good point there. Uh, I don't know who mentioned that. You build it, you destroy it. Yep, I talked all about that actually. And maybe it wasn't even two years ago. Maybe last year. Oh, they got these. Um, yeah, guys. So does that's it, guys. There's nothing for me to show you here. There's really nothing going on unfortunately it's the end it's over um but i recommend you go check out your should go you get everyone should go one last time check it out maybe get a deal on something uh maybe you know they're gonna start slashing prices so they're bringing in liquidators so they're gonna probably keep the stores open like i said and this store is just loaded with stuff the tool stuff a lot of it's there a lot of it's gone but 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 shoes and boots and um you know yeah so that's it guys i'm gonna get out of here i hope everybody had a good good uh weekend there and um you know there are some good deals guys just gotta look um you know i mean good deals I mean, better deals, let's just say that, because even at the discounted price, guys, there's nothing, um, you know, like I honestly was ready to get a couple of things, maybe, you know, maybe I was looking maybe get a nice metric socket set, but um, there's nothing here, there's nothing, nothing I would buy, and there's some jacks, a three-ton jack. Here's a 410 jack for 189. Doing one, please call 8993. Doing 8993. He bought that gear wrench. So I bet you that's they locked up the Taiwan set, maybe. Yeah, he took the last one. One was one left. So this is what he got. It's regularly 159, and this is a 32 piece. So it's bigger than the 20, all right, obviously. And it was 159. It's 79. Um, but again, I don't know if this is the, this is probably uh, not their best stuff here. That's an amazing deal. Chris Thorndike likes this for 80 bucks. Go run, run, run to your Sears. Um, yeah, I guess 80 bucks. I, I don't know. You know, do low uh, this home, uh, <laughs> the Sears carry the better Taiwan at least made gear and stuff, or is it all the Chinese stuff? Um, look at this a thousand dollars. This was fifteen hundred dollars. Look, save five hundred dollars. It's one hundred and twenty-one wrenches are included in this five hundred and forty-piece set. And look at this, two ninety-nine. I tell you, if you're a mechanic, really, or you're uh, an apprentice, a um, is something you, you should really check out uh, especially for these bigger sets uh, again 300 piece um, regularly 499 299 um, here's a 348 piece 699 down to 399 I mean All right, Anthony, good, thank you. Anthony says it's all Chinese here, except for the 120 XP for the most part. 
It'll literally be 500 in a couple weeks. Lance, what's up, buddy? Lance, Eli, how you been, man? I bought that a few weeks ago for 50. Hey, <laughs> someone else is here. Yeah, so, um... The socket wrench set, 249. Yeah, so this, um... You know, 119. It's $69 for this 20 piece. So it's something to think about is all I can tell you. Um, check them out. See see if anything, um, you know, you'd be interested in. Oh, you know, I, I still gotta get another one. I still gotta get a I had to bring that Daytona. I have to wait till next quick. Snips. Alright guys, there's nothing. Uh, we did it all. We did it all. One last time, guys. Again, check it out. Go. Look at this. I had this must yeah, this is the same one I got. Guys, check this jack out. I'm pretty sure this is the same one I got here. Um yeah, two, I think, yeah, two and a half ton. Low profile. This was 30 bucks when I got it. I don't know how much it is here. And this one might be different, actually. I don't know. But, yeah, they got some jacks. Aluminum steel service jack, two ton. I don't know. There's no prices on anything. But, um, I'm sure 94 GT. I'm sure EJM. I know a lot of you other craftsmen people will be down hitting Sears. And I hope it works out for you. You get some last minute stuff. But, all right, guys, be good. God bless you. We'll talk to you, right? Thank you guys again for coming in. Anthony, what's up, man? Harry Thomas Carroll, what's up? Looks like they raised the prices. Yeah, you know. It could definitely anyway. Check out the new Milwaukee pole sort. Yeah. I had to take that down, guys. Um I'll talk about it. I really can't even talk about it. That was like somebody leaked that out and there's like heads going to be rolling with that. So, um, yeah, if you were lucky enough and of course, if I'm sure you guys know all about it already, but Milwaukee's got, uh, yeah. Thank you, Brown. Brown Ranch. All right, guys, let me get out of here. Yep, rip it, Sears. Um, again, 126 years. And guys, JC Penny's next. So the world is changing as we know it. And, um, you know, people who grew up in the 80s, 90s, 70s, uh, you know, and then the world ain't what it used to be. Uh, Macy's, they might have 10 years left, but they're gonna be going. You know, it's it's done. We're in a new world, new digital world. I'm sure the reception's terrible in here. I'll probably end up getting stuck in this elevator or something. That's the whole thing's probably gonna crash or something here. All right, guys. I think Joe Boxer. All right, guys.